Nigerian meat pie is one of the most expensive and most delicious snacks in Nigeria. If you want to know how to make a perfect Nigerian meat pie, please watch this video to the end. Hello guys, how are you doing? Over here, I have some of these ingredients for the meat pie fillings. My Irish potato, my carrots, chopped onions, blended habanero pepper, my minced meat, my ginger and garlic paste, and some spices which I just listed on the screen. Next, I went ahead to wash the minced meat thoroughly with some lemon and clean water. Make sure you remove the lemon seed. You can as well add salt to it before washing. Then after I finish washing it properly, I strain the water away, then set it aside for my use. Next, I transfer some butter into a heated pot and I will allow it to melt. After then, I transferred my chopped onions and stir for some seconds. Next, I went in with my blended habanero pepper and my ginger garlic paste and I continue giving it a stir. Next, I transferred my properly washed minced meat and I continued giving it a good mix. After that, I went in with my spices and I continued giving it a good mix. Then I added enough water for it to be enough to cook. Then stir and cover to cook till tender. Now for the meat pie dough. I have 4 measuring cups of plain flour on this bowl. Half measuring spoon of baking powder and a pinch of salt. And now I just added half measuring spoon of curry powder. Next I transferred about 400 grams of an unsalted butter. And mix it until it forms a fine breadcrumb texture. Then I went back to our pot and I transferred the minced meat to another pot because the other pots won't be able to contain it. I then transferred the potato into the pot, transferred the carrots and a little amount of water to enable it to cook. Then I covered the pot again. Then back to our dough. I made a hole in the middle and added one raw egg and one measuring cup of milk. I used a combination of evaporated and fresh milk for this, but this is totally optional. And I mix it until it forms a dough texture. Then I remove it from my bowl and place it on my surface and knead it gently. Please, you don't need meat pie dough too hard. Next, I divided it into two, wrapped and placed in the fridge to sit for 30 minutes to one hour. Then I went back to our pot and the potato and carrot have cooked. Now I'm going to mix the slurry. This is cornstarch mixed with water. I'm going to add it into the fillings to thicken it up. This is basically not to make the fillings very watery. Then covered and allowed to simmer for 3 minutes. Now it's about 1 hour and our dough have softened. I then unwrapped one dough and still left the other one in the fridge to be cooling. Then I cut it into parts, sprinkled some flour on my surface for the smooth roll out. And in the small white bowl is one raw egg for coating the meat pie. Next I gently rolled the dough out with my rolling pin. Then I used my round shape plate to make a round shape and used my knife to cut it out. But you can use meat pie cutter instead of this. I then transferred the meat pie fillings on the one side of my cut out dough. You wouldn't want to add too much to this so that it will be able to seal properly. After that, I went ahead to cover the dough from the other edge, making sure that the filling are well placed by holding it with my fork. After then, I used the tip of my finger to seal it first in order to make sure that it's sealed properly. Please guys, is that time I will ask you to help me to share the video, like and comment, subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow me on TikTok. Next, I'll go ahead to seal the edges with my fork to make sure that it's well sealed and to give it that beautiful meat pie shape. And I continued like that with the other ones. Now this is the first batch. I've already transferred them into my baking tray, covered with baking paper, and gave them some pork for venting. Then I used the egg to coat the top of it. The purpose of the egg is to give it that fine golden meat pie color. After that, I transferred in the oven and baked on 180 degree Fahrenheit for 40 minutes or until when your meat pie turns golden brown. Now our Nigerian meat pie is ready. Look at that guys. 
look at how moist it is and this was so delicious let me know in the comment section what you think about this meat pie thank you for watching and see you in my next one bye bye